negotiation tips for today's cash buyers. And we sure have a lot of you here on this channel. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homework Guy channel. Are you ready to drive away with the best deal on your dream car? Well, you're in the right place. I'm your host, Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, and right over here is the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Today we're diving into the world of car buying, but not just any kind of car buying. We're talking about cash car buying. Yes, you heard it right. It has long been understood that paying with cold hard cash can give you the upper hand, but it's only true if you know how to play the game. And guess what? We're here to spill the beans. We'll uncover the best tips and tricks to make sure you walk out of the dealership with not just a new set of wheels, but with a deal that'll make your wallet say thank you. So buckle up, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, because you're about to become a cash buyer negotiation master on par with me. When negotiating for a car as a cash buyer, it's important to remember that while cash was once king for many years now, dealerships prefer a financing customer because it allows them to make money on the financing itself, in addition to the sale of the car. The profits on the sale of the car are known as front-end profits, but the money they make in the finance office is known as the back-end profits. Cash buyers cut off this second opportunity of back-end profits for a dealership. Also, you can open the door to the convenience of writing a personal check for the car just by calling ahead of time and saying, I'm coming in today on a vehicle you have on the lot. If I choose to put a significant amount of cash down on my car deal, do I have to bring cash or do you accept personal checks? If the answer is yes, we accept personal checks. You now know you have the green light to write a personal check for the entire amount of the car if you choose to go that route. With regard to negotiations as a cash buyer, even though dealers love financing customers more, you can still negotiate effectively by following these eight key steps. Number one, research the market value. We say this every time, so this is nothing new for a cash buyer. Before entering the dealership, research the market value of the car you're interested in. Sites like Kelly Blue Book, Edmunds, True Car, and Real Car Tips can provide you with information to come up with your estimated value. Number two, we've said this many times as well, do not reveal your payment method up front if you're a cash buyer. We made a famous video titled, Don't Say I'm Paying Cash for a Very Good Reason. Initially, you don't want to disclose that you plan to pay with cash. Most dealers are far less willing to negotiate if they know they won't make money off you in the finance office. Make sense? Number three, negotiate the car price first. Focus on negotiating the price of the car before discussing the payment method. If you get pressed frequently on your payment method, just respond by saying, if we can agree on a price I'm willing to pay, I'll be interested in what your finance office has to offer when the appropriate time comes. If they continue to push, politely repeat the previous comment or say, you heard what I said about the agreement on price. Let's not get the cart ahead of the horse here. <laughs> if the salesman or saleswoman attempts to shift the conversation to talking about car payments, just say, it's the bottom line price that I'm after. I don't need to see payments. I can easily calculate the payment myself. By focusing on the price, this ensures that you are working down from the sticker price of the car without the dealer muddying the water by mixing in finance terms. Number four, only discuss cash after the price agreement. Once you have agreed on a price and you're sitting in the finance office, you can politely inquire about the best rate the finance office can come up with. If nothing entices you, then it's a good time to reveal that you'll be paying in cash. At this point, the dealer has put a lot of time into this and is much more committed to the sale. To offer you a backup game plan, the FTC cars rule under glossary of terms clearly states offering price means the full cash price for which a dealer will sell or finance the vehicle to any consumer, provided that the dealer may exclude only required government charges. Cash price is easily understood, and it's exactly that, the cash price. So don't let the dealer weasel out of the price you negotiated by saying, oh, we didn't know you were paying cash. Have this page printed out and in your hand and say firmly, you and I both know you can't do that. It's written right here in the FTC CARS rule. What I've just explained can be found on the bottom of the last page of the FTC CARS rule under the glossary. Number five, be prepared to walk away. If you feel that you're not getting a fair deal, be prepared to walk away. Sometimes there's nothing like the disappearing footsteps of a customer to bring a dealer to their senses. This has been known for years to be a powerful negotiating tool as dealers don't often want to lose a sure sale. It's referred to as blowing up the car deal and they hate it. Number six, Look for discounts and incentives. Ask about any cash buyer discounts or current promotions that might apply to your purchase. In some cases, the incentives might be connected to you accepting some financing terms. Sure. In this case, make sure you go for 72 months since it's not legal to charge prepayment penalties on loans over 61 months. 
and now you have the full flexibility of paying off the loan at your own pace, either immediately or later at your convenience, no prepay penalty risk. Number seven, go for another test drive with the car and get it inspected. Ensure the car is in the condition you want, whether it's new or used. This can also be a point of negotiation if there are any issues you find. Number eight, finalize the deal. Once you agree on a price and are satisfied with the terms, proceed with the transaction. Be sure to review all the paperwork carefully and take your time. Read it all, all the fine print. Remember, the key to successful negotiation is being well-informed, maintaining a firm stance on what you're willing to pay, pulling out the FTC cars rule if needed, and showing a willingness to seek a better deal elsewhere if necessary. And friends, if you're a cash buyer and you feel you lack the skills to hold dealers accountable with these strategies and the FTC cars rule, and you're hungry for a great cash car deal like we just described, put me and Kevin in your corner by becoming a member on our YouTube channel and have us talk you through to success. Don't hesitate to sign up for the consults level today at $49.99 and then reach out to me right away at the cell number I've posted in our members only community page. What's extra special is that you won't get stuck working with somebody you don't know or who have never heard of. You actually get us, the hosts of the show. And no other creators on YouTube have offered anything like this. And the channels that do offer memberships, you will be well out over $1,000 before you even get started, and the results are reportedly very disappointing. Aww. If you're a member on our channel, we've really enjoyed working with you, and we thank you for putting your trust in us. If you ever considered why our content is so consistently high caliber, in part, it's due to the fact that we both have background in the car business, but we are also directly involved on a daily basis in car deals at dealerships with our members. Never forget that I got fired at my last dealership for being too honest. I wear it like a badge of honor today. It cracks me up that the dealer owner thought he could silence me by getting rid of me. Thank you, sir, for thinking so highly of me that you relieved me of any responsibility for your cesspool. For all of you viewers out there, including our channel members, don't forget to visit our website, thehomerguy.com. There are so many great resources all there for free to use however you choose, and no savvy car buyer should ever pass up a gift like that. Now, when you go to the website, look for the car buyer's blog, and then look for the arrows left and right to scroll through all of the great blogs that are there. All the resources we mentioned in today's show are on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. Thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back, and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homer Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. We've, We've got to go. go. You can't go! All the plants are going to die!